Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Document a Journey. This video is going to be all about the signature size, uh, the notebook that I'm using as my journal at the moment. So the notebook size is four and a quarter by six and a half. It fits inside my signature cover. I have, this is wheat cork with the elastics for the inside uh, TN strings. You can see them here. And then uh, I have growth on the inside as my decorative pocket. So I did do a flip through of this and in here I can do it again. This is pretty easy. It's just a uh, standard size uh, folder cut down to be signature size. Uh, I did tuck in the pocket. I tucked the folder into the pocket just to try it out for now. It seems to be working fine. This is my new journal. And then normally I have another one, like my next one, stuck in the back here. And it's really nice. Um, I, I like the weight to it that way. I can also just keep it like this. I just kind of like that second journal there. I don't know why it's, it's weird, but it is what it is. So that is what I have in here. But I did get a lot of questions on what types of journals you can put in here. I am I am no expert when it comes to trying to find journal sizes to fit in things. I, uh, I don't know, and if anyone else knows of any other size journals that fit in this signature size, please let me know. But the one, well, I guess I could say two that I know of are something that I sell and then something that Field Note sells. So you all know Field Notes brand more likely because of the three and a half by five and a half little notebooks that you can buy. I love these. I use them for uh, my calendar. I draw my calendar out and then I do my tasks and to do's for the month and then it's kind of like a bullet journal for me. So the that's what I use these for. But they also make something that looks like this. So this notebook is technically my son's but uh, it is made by Field Notes and it is called it says here on the side 72 page signature sketchbook um, it is a signature bound book it is sewn so you can check in the middle of the signatures there's three signatures you can see that they are sewn in but then after that they are glued into the binding so it's for me I'm particular when it comes to books I like them to lay flat it's awkward to lay flat also uh, pages start to come up a little bit in here and you can see that this is kind of creased so it doesn't lay completely flat. Also this book isn't the best when it comes to watercolor so if you're someone that likes watercolor I wouldn't suggest this one either but it's great for just you know ballpoint pen jotting down things uh, you know it works perfectly for that and it definitely fits inside my covers. I can show you that too. You can slide it into the back back here as almost like a folio or you could even put it on the strings and it fits just fine in the cover in here. So that is what Field Notes makes. Now what I make is two options. You can get a bound book like this. It's like like it is with the field notes in the signatures. However, mine is sewn and there is no glue. So when you open a page, you can bend it all the way back to touch and then it lies completely flat. You just gotta kinda work it to get it to lie flat. This is a brand new hand bound book so it doesn't lie completely flat in all the spaces. But I suggest going through your book and just kinda bending it like I am now and that gets all the pages to lie flat. The only problem with mine is in between each signature you're going to have this space so you can like see my fingers through the space. You have to be careful with that when you're painting. Uh, but I, I feel like that is minor compared to having glue problems and or binding issues where you can't open your book and lay it flat. Um, so you can get this, you can get it in craft or you can get a designed uh, cover designed by me. So the other option that I have is you can get a cover like this. It comes in the craft color and it is Tomo River paper. You could do Strathmore mixed media paper or you could do both and it comes uh, hand bound like this stitched and it's just like an insert 
so you drop it in your book. Um, I love to collage these covers, and later on in the video, you will see me collaging this very cover. Uh, but this uh, will be my next insert. So I'm just going to shove this back here. But those are the options that you can get for this size. This size is unique. Like I said, I don't know very many books that uh, make this size uh, besides the field notes. Uh, but it's really nice and compact. Uh, you know, this to a field notes, it looks like that. This is actually an A6. So it, that means it's four by six. So you're looking at something like this difference. And it's just a little bit of extra space. You know what I mean? To write, it's very similar to a B6 Slim. Um, you know, a B6 Slim is four and a half by seven. This is six and a half by four and a quarter. Um, it's just a fun size. I had some inserts in it, so I wanted to use them up, uh, and I'm going through them very nicely. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you guys want to see me collage this cover, my next insert right here, then just keep watching. So with my collage, I have definitely found what works for me. Um, I have this little system and then you can look at my other uh, journals in the past. I can list a video of all the collage journals that I've done uh, in the description box for you. But uh, I like to get some floral paper down on the binding of the book and then I do some accent papers. So that's what you see the pink and the, I guess that's kind of like a, a grid paper, uh, but it's more of a uh, construction paper type of book. I did rip the paper when I kind of pulled it up, so I go ahead and put like a piece of black washi on it and it worked out just fine. Now I'm adding my sticker on the front. This is my focal point, I guess you would say. Um, that is sticker is by Studio PD. Then I added a yellow strip of paper to the front. That is also going to be where I put my journal number. And I normally choose two to three stickers for the back. From the top down is mine, Studio Katie. And then the last one is from a sticker maker that is no longer in service. Uh, I do some outlining and some doodling around all the stickers, not only on the back, but I also do that to the front as well. I will thumb through some, they're like a label stickers, I guess. They have sayings on them. I'll thumb through some of those and I'll stick one on the front and on the back. And then I pretty much call this done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am curious, have you tried the signature size? Have you even heard of the signature size? Um, leave me comments in the comments below and until next time everybody, I'll see ya.